In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Epson Workforce Pro WF3823 all-in-one printer with the MacBook. So, first we will connect this printer to the Wi-Fi network and then we will add in our MacBook. So go to the printer display panel, scroll ahead and look for the settings, journal settings, network settings Wi-Fi setup Wi-Fi recommended Wi-Fi setup wizard select your Wi-Fi network and enter its password using the touch panel and then click OK printer is connected to the Wi-Fi network now go to your MacBook now go to your MacBook open the web browser and open the Epson website type in your Epson Workforce Pro WF3820 printer model number in the search and it will show up 3820 series scroll down and you will see the drivers and utility combo package installer click on the download open file Double click on the Epson installer, open, so this is the installation window, so we have to complete the setup using it, click accept, so this is the license agreement and there are some options you can select, so if you want you can just unselect it and click on the next, printer is on, yes. So it displays the Workforce 3820 series that is already connected to the Wi-Fi network. Click Next. So these are the utilities you want to use with your printer. So if you don't want anything you can just unselect it. Definitely use the Epson Scan Smart because you need it for the scanning. And then click on the Install. Now click on the add printer so you have to click on the plus button select your printer add close this window click on the print test page Printer is connected. Close this window. Click next. So it's updating. It may take longer time. Click next. Click next. Finish and register. And close. Now the setup is complete. Close it, go to the launch pad and look for your Epson Scan Smart. Open the Epson Scan Smart app. Here we can see our Epson printer. Now you can also change some settings, increase the resolution. Now place a document for the scanning. So I'm just going to use the feeder tray, so place it facing up. Click on the scan icon. So our printer is connected and it is scanning. On the next page it will save the scan. We can open this page and we can see the result here. That is here. So this way we can do the 
scanning so this way we can do the complete setup using a macbook and now we can start using it for wireless printing and scanning in the same way you can do it with the windows laptop so you have to install the drivers and just follow the same process thanks for watching